This video is about cutting a slot with a shop built hand shaper. Um, I'm going to cut a slot wide enough for this piece of tool steel which is about a hundred and twenty seven thousandths so I want to make the slot slightly wider than that. Um, my Right now my tool bit is about a hundred and fourteen thousandths actually I think it's about a little bit less than that about a hundred and thirteen thousandths so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna go down one rotation on the dial here which is a fifty thousandths depth and um, then I'm gonna move it over uh, and and make another cut uh, unfortunately the the tool bit isn't exactly the right size but at this point I'm just experimenting to see if I can grind a tool bit that will actually cut a slot and so far I've, I've been experimenting and I've got this tool bit to where it sort of cuts I'm not personally satisfied with it there's it's not cutting the way it should because there seems to be a lot of spring in the cut and I think it's it shouldn't be there so anyway that said I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a little oil on the work and um, and proceed to cut and I'm only going to go down about probably about uh, one thousandth per pass not very much and um, I realize that the for the hand shaper cutting a slot is um, is a nice chore for it actually and um, so what I'd like to do eventually if I can get this tool bit cutting right is to develop a situation where I can cut an internal slot so that's going to be um, uh, my next uh, project but at this point this is where I'm at so I'm gonna go ahead and go down about fifty thousandths here and then we'll see what happens so Well, there's five thousandths and I'll make a couple more passes there you can see that it's still pulling off material so there's spring in the cut well, I don't know why there's so much spring in the cut I've tried to make sure that I tried to get it out of there every every chance I can <laughs> but it seems to be there hopefully my hands not in the way So we're about 25 thousandths down. We're about halfway down right now. And it's still removing metal without actually moving the dial right now. So Okay, so we're down about forty thousandths. We'll put a little bit more oil on the cut. The graduations on the dial are fifty thousandths. That's what there is. Back to zero again. That's where I'm headed. Okay, there's zero again. So supposedly we're down fifty thousandths. 
Now we're going to make some spring passes here to make sure we've kind of cleaned out the slot. Now as I recall, we were about 113 thousandths wide and we need to go to at least um, one twenty seven so thirteen so that's fourteen thousandths so let me set this at zero I notice this thing has moved too I had it set at zero so it's moved a few thousand so I don't know what's happened there I don't have a way to lock the carriage right now so that's I've been talking about that for a while but I gotta disassemble everything to get that job done so so um, that said let's go Let's go, um, let's see what I say, 14 thousandths. So let's go about, I'm, I, I, hopefully I'm going to make, I know that this doesn't exactly work out right, so I'm going to go another, I don't know, 3 thousandths or 4 thousandths. And, and then I'm going to crank this back to zero. That should be where I started last time. And so we're going to go down through here again. Try to widen the slot. And I can go a lot faster now. I can move it down more than just a thousandth or so. Hopefully we're back to where we were. Let's take a couple spring passes. So now we're going to see if the the piece of tool steel is going to fit. A little bit tight. It does start to go, but it's a little bit tight. So not quite. So it's uh this thing is I see this has moved again. It's moved in the opposite direction. So let me go back to zero again. Another five thousandths. I think I'm going to have to clamp, I'm going to have to put a clamp on the carriage temporarily to make this work. That's what's happening is I can see that from the dial indicator things are moving even though they shouldn't be. to zero again. Take a couple spring passes. See where we're at. Okay, now it goes in there. So, the, um, so there we are. So we've actually completed a slot. This is an eighth inch piece of tool steel here. So I went down fifty thousandths. It goes in there nicely. It's a little bit sloppy right now, but I went more than I needed to go. So I, I need to, I can see at this point I need to get this carriage locked up. That's one thing I need to do. That's important. That's what's, uh, that's one problem I have in this operation. So uh, I think that tool that tool bit is cutting okay. 
Let me take it out of there real quick, take a look at it. Nothing fancy. I tried to grind it to an eighth of an inch, but I've, I've ground it a few times, so it's not an eighth of an inch anymore. So there's, a, there's the tool bit right there. I don't know if the light is shining on it, you can see it or not. But anyway, there's the tool bit. Um, I didn't I didn't have anything to to grind this um, radius in here with so I just had a two inch uh, cut or grind grinding wheel that I that I cut that in there with so it's a very slight radius um, and initially when I made the tool bit the sides were dragging so I, I cut those back a little bit and uh, that's about all I've done to it at this point um, but it, it is working, it is cutting the slot and um, this is maybe about my, uh, I made a few attempts at this so um, anyway that's where I'm at and uh, so the next step will be to get this locked up next time which I can do pretty easily with just a clamp and then the other thing is is to put an extension on here so I can do an internal uh, key slot so that's all I got to, to show you right now um, Walter, I hope you're watching this. I know you got your front unit almost put together, and so you should be getting to the point where you're going to make some chips pretty soon. So anyway, I'm I'm uh, looking forward to that. Um, in in the meantime, I'm out here in the dark. So <laughs> I know if you catch up with me, I'll be doing better. Anyway, okay, um, I'll call off now and and post this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.